I'm going to do a simple demonstration on how you can access the GUI of your 40 gig firewall running on GNS3. It's quite simple, straightforward, and we are going to jump right into it. So I already have 40 gig, uh, 40 gig, uh, 40 OS appliance um, downloaded from the uh, GNS3 marketplace and installed here on GNS3. So I'm just going to do it, uh, use it right away to implement this simple lab. So you need um, at least one 40 gig device and then you need to connect it to the cloud model on your GNS3. So to be able to run the 40 gig OS and other uh, OEM OS like what you, you can see the ASA here you can also see uh, the Microtik is also here Juniper and the rest you need to have the GNS3 VM uh, installed on your on your GNS3 so anyway that's uh, a story for another day so what I'm doing today is just to show us how we can access the GUI of this 40 gate so you drag the cloud model here drag the 40 gate here and then establish your connection okay from the cloud module to the 40 gate the essence of doing this is so that we will be able to access the 40 gate using the browser that is running on the host machine so now that we have this connection established i'm going to go on and power on the 40 gate device okay it's coming up so what you need to understand is that for you to access the GUI of this device, you will need an IP address on at least one port, preferably a management port. So as it stands now, we do not have any IP address assigned to this device. We'll be looking through it in a minute. So this is the GNS3 VM uh, model. It has its own network running already, it has DSCP enabled on it by default. You do not need to do this so we will be configuring this port one on the 40 gate as a dscp client to acquire a management ip from the genesis 3 vm it is that management ip that we will be using to assess the gui of the 40 gate so i'm going to log into the console at the moment since there is no ip address on it so i'll, I'll assess it via the console port and we will configure the interface. So uh, here we are. Okay, so the default username is admin, the password is empty. So I'm gonna go to that interface just to check and verify that there's no IP address on it. So you go to config uh, system interfaces, and enter and I will say get port one so you can see here that the ip address here is all zeros blank there's no ip assigned to it so i'm gonna go ahead to assign an ip to this interface so i'll say edit port one enter and i'm gonna say set uh, mode as dhcp Okay, and I'll say allow, set allow access. Think HTTPS and maybe HTTP, depending on what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna say uh, set alias as MGT for management, okay? And end. So, it is not compulsory that you need to set the alias, but you have to configure the interface depending on the mode. If it is static, you put static and you assign the IP. If it is DHCP, you say DHCP. That sets the interface as a DHCP client. And then you allow the type of traffic that you will be you know, uh, pushing through that interface. So I'm going to check the IP that has been assigned to that port now okay so we'll go back to configure uh, system uh, interfaces so
So you can see now that I have an IP here, and this IP is 192.168.171.139. So I'm just going to copy that IP and I will launch a web browser right away from my host machine, okay? From my host machine, I'm going to launch a web browser and we should be able to get it to connect it 40 gig. So you can see I'm on the 40 gig now, admin no password. Okay, one second here we are on the 40 gates GUI so this is the 40 gate and that's how easy and quick it is for you to uh, configure your 40 gates for GUI access 